morning student myself ravi kumar malle first of all welcome to my video channels this is the second video of the chapter algebraic expressions okay student so if you have not watched that video properly then my humble request to all of you first watch that video then you can understand the things properly so let's start our the next portions of the chapter algebraic expressions in previous video already we have learned something about the something basic idea about the algebraic expression in which we have learned what is the variables and what is constant and what is the terms and different types of terms and what is the algebraic expressions and different types of algebraic expressions now you will learn what is a polynomial so from the definitions let us start our chapter polynomial so polynomial what is the meaning of the polynomial polynomial is an algebraic expressions is an algebraic expressions in which the power of the variable of each and every term should be a non negative integer non negative integers okay so what is the proper definitions the definitions it is it is an algebraic expression algebraic expression in which in which the power of the variables of each and every term each and every terms are every terms are non negative integers so what is the meaning of non negative integers we know that the integers is equals to 0 plus minus 1 plus minus 2 plus minus 3 like this and non negative non negative means so these things integers are consist of minus 1 minus 2 minus 3 like this and 0 and 1 2 3 like this so these are known as the integers and non negative that means the things which is not negative not negative means this part so the power may be 0 1 2 3 4 like this non negative integers okay so if the power of every terms every the power of the variables of each and every terms in any algebraic expressions are non negative integer then it is this type of uh, algebraic expressions is known as the polynomial okay so for that uh, we can say that every algebraic uh, sorry every polynomial will be an algebraic expressions but we cannot say that every algebraic expressions are the example of polynomial okay so for example now we can say that example 5x square minus 3x plus 4y minus 7 x y z 3 x cube y square minus 5 x plus 3 y minus 8 x y etc. These are known as the polynomial. But if we take that 5 x square minus 3 x by y, so can we say that this is the polynomial? No, it will not be a polynomial because in this term this algebraic expression is consist of two terms one is 5x square here the power of the variable of this terms is 2 it is okay but in this case 3x by y so here 3 into x by y so what is the meaning of by y we know that the we already we have already learned the theorem of the exponent 
and we can say that this is 3 into x into y to the power minus 1. Okay, student, here in this terms, you can see that this is the variables and this is another variable and the power of the x is here 1 and the power of y here minus 1. So, for these reasons, we cannot say that this is an algebraic expression because these terms contain the negative power of the variables. So, this is not the example of algebraic expressions. In this way, also, in similar way, we, if I write here, 3xy minus 5xy square plus 3y cube root over. Okay, so here you can say that 3xy is okay because the power is 1 and here the power of y is also 1. So, this is positive integers. Uh, integral power and in this terms 5xy square so here also you can say that the power of the x is 1 and the power of y is also 2 so here also 1 and 2 are uh, non-negative integers but in this case 3 into y to the power 3 root over of y to the power 3 also we can say that this is y to the power 3 by 2 and this is not an integer this is a rational number so here the power of y is not an integer this is a rational number so we cannot say that this is the example of polynomial ok student some other examples which are not polynomial because in this uh, topics we will uh, read about the polynomial so polynomial simply this type of algebraic expression we can know that we can say that these are the polynomials but we must have to know for which conditions or in which condition we can say that those algebraic some uh, expressions are not the example of polynomials okay student some other examples are suppose i will write here 3x y square minus 4 y to the power 2.3 so if the power is 2.3 that means this is also the not the integer this is not the integer this is not the integer. This is a decimal number. And every decimal number are not integer. Also, we can write that 2.3 is equal to 23 by 10. So, this is a rational number also. So, these are not integers. So, we cannot say that these algebraic expressions are polynomial. Okay, student? So, now, we can here compute that Every polynomial are the example of algebraic expressions or algebraic algebraic expression, but Every algebraic expression are not polynomial, are not polynomial. Okay, student? Here we have learned what is polynomials. Now you will learn the degree of the polynomial, which is very important things. Now we will learn the degree of the polynomial. Degree of polynomial. So what is the degree of the polynomial? Degree represents the power. But there are some a little difference between the degree and the powers. Power represents the power that means the power of the single terms but degree is known as the highest power among the terms okay so the highest power among power of variables of variables of the highest power of variable among all the terms 
of an algebraic expression. Okay. For example, I will write here two or more um, polynomials and we have to calculate the degree of that polynomial. Suppose I will write here 5x cube minus 3x to the power 5 plus 6x to the power 8 minus 3x to the power 4. So here you can say that there are how many terms are there? Here are 1, 2, 3 and 4. And here 1 terms, 2 terms, 3 terms and 4 terms. And the power of the variables. Here the power of the variables is 3. And the here power of the variable is 5. And in this term the power of the variable is 8. And in this term the power, power of the variable is 4. So that means which one is the highest? Here 8 is the highest. So the degree is degree is 8. Okay student. So second example now. We will write the second example. Suppose. 5x cube minus 3x square y square minus 4x cube y to the power 5 minus 7x to the power 8 plus 7x to the power 4 y to the power 6. Okay student, here how many terms? 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 terms. Here in this algebraic expression that in this polynomial we have how many terms? 5 terms. And now you will calculate the power of each term. So here the variable is x only. So the power of the variable is 3. In this term, you can see that we have used two variables. One is x and another is y. So the power of x is 2 and the power of y is 2. So now to find out the power of the terms, the power of the variables of these terms is 2 plus 2 equal to 4. Understand? Understood student? So this is very important thing here. So here also we have used x and y. The power of x is equal to 3. So here the power of x is 3 and the power of y is 5. So we have to add them to get to, for getting the power of the variable of this term. So 5 plus 3 equal to 8. And simply here one variable is used and the power is 8. Also here two variable is used. So the the sum of the power of x and y is 4 and plus 6 is equal to 10. So which one is highest? Highest is 10. So here we can say that degree equal to 10. Okay students? Now we will write another example to find out the degree. Suppose we have 3x cube y square minus 5x to the power 10 minus 6x to the power 2, y to the power 7, z to the power 4. Okay. So here also we can see that here two variables is used. So the power of the x equal to 3 and the power of y equal to 2. So the total power is 5. And here the power is 10. And here 2 and the power of y equal to 7. And plus the power of j, uh, power of j equal to 4. The result is 13. Okay student. So highest, which one is highest? 13 is highest. So here we can see that degree of this, this term, sorry, this polynomial is 10. Okay student. So here we have finished about the polynomial and the degree of the polynomial. Now you will learn about the types of the polynomial. Okay student? Types of polynomial. Okay student? Here I am writing first type A. Okay? Linear polynomial if degree is 1 in any polynomial ok 
So if in any polynomial, if the degree is 1, that we can say that that polynomial is linear polynomial. Suppose, and here we have not told that how many variables we have to use here. Only we have to see that what is the degree of the polynomial. Suppose, I will write here 3x minus 4y. This is the algebraic expression of, and also this is the polynomial and here the degree is 1 because the power of x is also 1 and y is also 1. So this is the linear polynomial 4x 3y 7x minus 4y plus 3j. This is also linear polynomial. But if I write that 4x minus 3xy it is not the linear polynomial. Yeah. This is not the linear polynomial. Yeah. Okay, student. Now you will read the second type is B quadratic quadratic polynomial. So what is the meaning of quadratic polynomial? So in any polynomial. If degree is 2, degree is 2. Okay, student? So, if degree is 2, then we can say that that polynomial is known as quadratic polynomial. For example, suppose I will write here 4x square, 7x square minus 3x, 4xy minus 3z, 7x square minus 4y square minus 8. So these are known as the quadratic polynomial because here you can see that in this polynomial only one term is here and the power is 2. So that's why we can say that this is the quadratic polynomial. And here also in here this polynomial is consists of two terms and first term having 2 degree 2 and the second term having power 1. So, but the degree is 2. That's why we can say that this is the quadratic polynomial. Also in this polynomial consists of two uh, terms and in the first term the degree is 2 and the second term the power is 1. That's why this is also the quadratic polynomial. In case of this polynomial, this is consists of three terms and the first term having the power 2, second term is also power 2 and the third term is power 0. So that means this is also a quadratic polynomial. Okay students. Now third is cubic polynomial. Cubic polynomial. So what is the meaning of cubic polynomial? In cubic polynomial if the degree of the polynomial is 3 then we can say that that polynomial is a cubic polynomial. So, if the degree of polynomial is 3, then it is called cubic polynomial. Cubic polynomial. Okay, student. So for example, 3x cube minus 4x, 7x cube minus 8, 4xy square minus 3xy plus 7. So I have given you three examples for cubic polynomials. So you can see that here this algebraic expression of this polynomial consists of three terms, sorry, two terms. One term having the power 3, another one having the power 1. But the degree is the highest power, so that's why the degree is 3. So this is known as the cubic polynomial. And in this case also you can see that this is also consists of the two terms and the first term having the power 3 and second terms have no variables. That means the power of this variable in this terms 8 is 0, so highest power is 3. So that's why it is also cubic polynomial. And in last terms, you can see that this is the consist of three terms. So first is 4xy square, 
here the power is 1 and the power of y is 2 so the power is 3 and here also 1 plus 1 is 2 and here no variables that's why the power is 0 and the highest power is 3 highest power is 6 that means degree is 3 so we can say that this is the cubic polynomial okay students now last type of polynomial is biquadratic polynomial by by quadratic by quadratic polynomial okay so what is the meaning of the by quadratic polynomials in this case if the highest power we can say that degree If the degree of the polynomial is for R or formed by by the product of product of two quadratic two quadratic polynomial is called the y quadratic polynomial yeah. okay student for example suppose x to the power 4 minus 1 okay x to the power 4 minus 2x plus 1 okay student so these are known as the y quadratic polynomial because highest power is what highest power is 4 that's why degree of this polynomial is 4 so we can say that this is the y quadratic polynomial okay student we, 